This lesson covers the materials for Module 3, Lesson 5, where we begin subtracting fractions with unlike denominators using uh, an area model to help us find the common denominators. It includes three problems from the problem set, and it goes over one of the problem, word problems from the homework, uh, just to give you a little guidance, as it might be a little confusing. Okay, let's start by making our two rectangular models. And we will bracket the top, put a 1 because they represent one whole. Uh, we're going to take our menu end, the 1 -third, that's the first number, and we're going to take our model and partition it into three equal parts using two vertical lines. We'll shade 1 because the numerator is 1. The subtrahend is one fourth, three equal parts, three equal, uh, three horizontal lines, splitting that into four equal parts. We will now shade in one of those four. Now we're going to take our th three horizontal lines and put it on our first number here. And we will put in our three, or two rather, vertical lines. We now have this partitioned into 12 parts. Let's bracket our numbers. This is one third, and this is one fourth. Our common denominator is 12 because each of those is partitioned into 12 parts. Uh, my menu end has 4 shaded, and my subtrahend has 3 out of 12 shaded. Now we're going to look at our subtrahend. We see that there are 3 shaded, so in our menu end we're going to cross out 3 partitions, and we are left with 1. So we now have 1 twelfth as our answer. Let's do another example. B is very much like A, except we have two-thirds as a non-unit fraction. Again, two-thirds is our minuend, and one-half is our subtrahend. Let's uh, start with our model. Our minuend is two-thirds, so we're going to use two vertical lines, partitioning our rectangle into three equal parts. We'll shade two, because the numerator is two, two out of three. Before we go any further, we'll label that 1, and this will be 2 thirds. Uh, going to our subtrahend, we have 1 half, so we're going to use one horizontal line, partitioning our rectangle into two equal parts. We'll shade one of the two parts, and we'll bracket that and call it 1 half. Now, to make our common denominators, we're going to partition my menu end into two parts with a horizontal line and my subtrahend will be partitioned into three equal parts using two vertical lines. We now see that our denominator, common denominator is six so I have four out of six partition shaded and in the subtrahend I have three out of six like we did in the previous problem, we're going to look at our subtrahend. We count three partitions. Then we're going to cross out three of the partitions in our menu end, leaving one. So our answer is one sixth. Moving on to the next one. Okay, for E, we have an example with two non unit fractions. We have three fourths minus one eighth start with our model. Our menu end is 3 fourths, so we need to partition it into 4 equal parts. We'll shade 3 out of 4. Label it 1 whole. And label this 3 fourths. Now we'll go to our subtrahend. Again, we're going to use our horizontal lines. This has 8, so 7.
seven horizontal lines making eight partitions and I'll shade three. And that becomes three eighths. Again we want to label this as one hole. So now we're going to partition both of these. I'm going to take my menu in and partition it now using my horizontal lines into eight equal parts. And if we look at this, we see that we have 4 by 8, and that makes a 32 my denominator. How many out of 32? Well, 1, 2, 3 times 8 is 24. Alright, so now we need to go on to our second part. We're going to partition my subtrahend into four equal parts using my lines going vertically. Again, my denominator is 32. How many out of 32? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Again, we're going to look at our subtrahend where we have 12 uh, partition shaded, and I'm going to now cross out 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that leaves me with 12. So I have 12 30 seconds. Now we can do something else with this. We can simplify this fraction. Both the numerator and the denominator are divisible by four, uh, 3, or 4 rather, excuse me. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So our answer is 3 eighths. Let's go on to the word problem. Okay, this word problem is the last one on your homework, and uh, it's just a little bit different. Th so I thought I would address it uh, so that uh, we can avoid confusion. It says Katrina needs three fifths a kilogram of flour for a recipe. Her mother has three sevenths kilogram of flour in her pantry. Is this enough flour for the recipe? If not, she will. How much more will she need? Okay. Well, we don't know. Which one is our minuend? That's the minuend is the number that is subtracted from, and the subtrahend is the is the amount taken away. So we have to determine which one of these two is greater, and then we have to answer the question yes or no. It's enough for the recipe. If not, we have to tell how much more she needs. In that case, when we hear how much more, we need to subtract. So how are we going to do this? We're going to set up our area diagrams for both of these using these rectangles. We're going to find our common denominator and then we can see how many of our partitions are shaded. The fraction that is modeled with more partitions shaded is the greater one. So if this 3 fifths is greater than the 3 sevenths, she's going to need more. So we're going to have to subtract. That should give you some guidance. Again, set it up don't set up the problem first. Start with your area models. Find out which one of those two fractions is greater, and that'll help you set up the problem if necessary, and certainly will help you answer the question.